Kabul Bashim Yawashai, Bashim Kapodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that told me the truth and Shalom to the elect. Alright, this is Kodash Paya. And real quick, you know I'm on a uh, quick break, right? And um just thought I'd do a quick uh, lesson. You know, as you can see in the picture, where you have so-called Queen Elizabeth, where everything she has on, all the ornaments and jewelry, gold and stones, you know, it shows you uh, the, uh, uh, um, the names of where she, or, or, or her, um, you know, these Edomites, where they stole it from, you know? And the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are biblical Israelites, they uh, 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 stole, these Edomites have stole when they came to our lands. They robbed and murdered our people. They took our gold, silver, you know, took our land. They took our, stone, uh, uh, you know, precious stones and, you know, even our women and children, you know. So this place has gotten riches by the sea, you see. And, and, and that's how they are, uh, like the scriptures in, uh, I believe, in Habakkuk. If I'm not mistaken, woe to them that built up a town by blood, roughly paraphrasing. You know, and look, now she, she's in the spirit world. You know, uh, uh, there's no glory, you know, in, in, in death. You know, and um, soon they're going to have to give all that back up, man. You know, these Edomites, these elites that's trying to store up their treasures in their bunkers. Well... The earth was created for our sakes, the elect. So, like the scripture saying in Revelation 10, he that leadeth for captivity shall go into captivity. So everything they stole from us, we're gonna get back, man. Soon. Real soon. But let's get um And this is why And this is why what? The elect men, we're storing up our treasures in heaven. Where moth and, and where thieves don't rob, you know, because the elect is gonna uh, uh, reap the benefits of the earth when Yahweh comes back anyway. So everybody that's trying to store up uh, 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 their treasures here on earth carnally, right? It's it's they're gonna be destroyed uh, uh, right along with it. All right. So this is the book of Proverbs, chapter thirteen, verse twenty-two. A good man leaveth an inheritance. To his children's children and the wealth of sinner is laid up for the just that's right it's laid up for the just the righteous you know and um when i like when when our people when our people are destroyed on this side you know that that loves this world they're gonna come back in their right minds as newborn babies but they're gonna reap the benefits of the elect you know in righteousness Matter of fact, let's get um Let's get the book of Job chapter 20 verse 15. He have swallowed up, swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. That's right. So everything that they uh, uh got, you know, all the gold in the banks and everything they storing up in hell, which is the bunkers and these private islands and whatever. Hey man, we're gonna, the Lord is gonna make the elect men hunters pursuing the Jeremiah 16 and 16 to get, to take back what's uh, 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 rightfully ours, you know? Because these heathens are gonna be concubines in the kingdom. You know, they're gonna be the servants and handmaids, you know? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or known as Sirach. Chapter 10, verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another, right? Ultimately, because our people went off as a nation, so we're under the hands of our oppressors now. But what? The scriptures say uh, in Ecclesiastes, how I have seen servants upon horses, meaning the real servants are ruling now, you know? But the real kings are servants here. You see, because we're in captivity until we go, go back to our homeland, which is uh, Israel. But the Lord's going to cleanse that place as well through fire. You see? But what? Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. They deceive the world. 
you know, with contracts, you know, and, and they backstab these other allies that America has, which is why they're, they're leaving America, their own allies, you know, which is why everything's going digital now. So it says the kingdom is translated from one people to another. You know, and soon that's going to happen as well, pursuing a Daniel 2, right about the 44th and 45th verse, you know, which the kingdom of heaven is going to be uh, uh, stored on earth, as it tells you in the Lord's Prayer, in uh, St. Matthew, the 6th chapter. So this is why we wait for Yahweh Shah to come back, because what? The scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So righteousness uh, um, is going to be restored. The kingdom is going to be restored on earth physically. But in order for that to happen, these wicked kingdoms um, must and will be destroyed. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 21. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall be, shall like it shall not be blessed, right? So it's going to be blessings for us, you know, because they're just keeping it warm for us. But they're going to be, uh, 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 they're going to see, you know, these Edomites, these elites, the Rothschild, the Bilderberg, the Rockefeller, right? These ruling uh, families, they're going to see their judgment real soon. You know, while the uh, elect, the 144,000, the righteous, the saints, will see their blessings real soon, Right? And um, like it tells you in our Psalms, how they, their words are smooth, smoother than butter, but war was in their heart. You know, and they do that to the rest of the world with their treaties, bringing sanctions. You know, and the rest of the world is seeing the, 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 the um, agendas of the West. So let me get one more scripture and close it. Proverbs 11 and 4. Which is puffing not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Point you right here, who the elites is, you know, who the wicked is. All right. So I hope this was edifying, straight to the point. Until next time, you know, I'm on a time limit, but I'm gonna give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kadash. Till next time, with that, Shalom.